In this video, we will be telling about how to set up your new Apple iPhone. For this, first what we need to do is, you need to turn on your Apple iPhone. For that, click on this power button. When you are long pressing, you can see a screen like this. Here what you need to do is, swipe up. When you are swiping up, you will be asked to select your language. I am selecting English. After that, you need to select your country. In my case, it is India, so I am selecting India. Now here you can see appearance. If you want, you can set it to medium or large or you can set it to default. I am setting as default. Anyways, after that, click on continue. When you are clicking on that, you can see quick start. Here what you need to do is that if you are having another Apple device, you can transfer data from that phone to this phone easily. For that, what you need to do is simply place your old iPhone near this device. When you are placing near, you can see a pop-up message like this. Click on continue. And after confirmation, you can transfer every data to this phone. Anyways, in this video, we are going to set up this phone as a new phone. For that, click on set up without another device. And we will be doing one video about how to back up your data to new phone. After doing that video, that video link will be given in the description. Anyways, from here, what you need to do is click on set up without another device. When you are clicking on that, you can see an option like this. Here, click on customize setting. When you are clicking on that, you will be asked to select your keyboards. By default, English is there and your mother tongue will be also there. If you want to add new keyboard, what you need to do is that click on add keyboard and search for your language and you can add new keyboard. In my case, here every keyboard that I want is there. Anyways, after that, click on continue. When you are clicking on that, you will be asked to connect your Wi-Fi. If you want, you can set up without Wi-Fi. Anyways, it's better to set it up with Wi-Fi. Click on your Wi-Fi and enter your password. After entering password, click on join. When you are clicking on that, you will be connected to your Wi-Fi and you will reach a page like this. Here you need to wait for few seconds. You don't need to click anything. After this, you will reach a page like this. Here click on continue. In this page, what you need to do is, if you are setting up for your children, click on set up for a child in my family or if it is for yourself, click on set up for myself. When you are clicking on that, you will be asked to confirm your face ID. What you need to do is click on continue. After that, you need to set your face ID. Click on get started and after that, place your phone's camera towards your face. You should show your full facial profile. Anyways, after that, your face ID will be registered. And if you want to set it up with mask, you can click on use face ID with a mask or you can click on set up later in settings. When you are clicking on that, you can see face ID is now set up. Anyways, after that, click on continue. When you are clicking on that, you will be asked to create a password for your iPhone. By default, they are showing 6 digit password. If you want to change that format, click on passcode option. When you are clicking on that, you can see custom alpha numeric code, custom numeric code and 4 digit numeric code. I am selecting 4 digit numeric code. After that, enter password. After that, again you will be asked to re-enter that password, re-enter that password and when you are re-entering, you will reach a page like this. If you want to transfer your app data, you can do that. If you want to do it from iCloud backup, you can click on iCloud backup or if you want to do it from another iPhone, you can do that also. Anyways, as of now, I am clicking on don't transfer anything. After that, they are asking to give your Apple ID. If you are not having any Apple ID, what you need to do is click on forgot password or don't have an account. In my case, I am having one Apple ID, so I am entering that number here. After that, click on continue. When you are clicking on that, you will be asked to confirm your password. Enter your password here. After entering password, click on continue. When you are clicking on that, you can see a pop-up message like this in your old iPhone. Click on allow. After that, you can see a password like this. You need to enter this password in this new phone. When you are entering that password, you will reach a page like this. Here you can see terms and conditions. Click on agree. When you are clicking on that, you can see signing in. Please wait for few seconds. You can see a page like this. Here what you need to do is that if you want to make any changes, you can click on customize or click on continue. Now in case of Apple 15 Pro series and Apple 16 series, we are having one action button. Here you need to set up that action button. Click on continue and when you are clicking on that, they are asking to set up your action button. If you want to customize, click on customize. By default, it is set to silence mode and in my case, I am making it torch. After that, click on continue button. And in iPhone 16 series, you are having camera control button. They are telling about this button also. You don't need to set up that. Click on continue. When you are clicking on that, you can see an emergency SOS page. Click on continue. When you are clicking on that, you can see welcome to iPhone. You need to swipe up. 
when you are swiping up you can see your apple iphone is ready so this way you can easily set up your new apple iphone hope this video was helpful for you if you find it helpful consider subscribing see you in the next video